Hello, my name is Jackie Hagen and I eat crisps the wrong way up. And this is the little video for the poem, What We All Know. This is John Temple Anderson, he's a duck. And I'm not going to explain the existence of John Temple Anderson in every video, because that'll get tiresome. So today, you're just going to have to cope with the duck. And I think if that's the hardest thing you've had to cope with today, then God bless you. So, you know them times in life when you get really excited about something, um, so excited that you break it, um, you know, like a kinder egg or a relationship or um, a kitten. And um, I did that with my wife a couple of years ago. I got so excited about how amazing my life was that I got sectioned. And this poem was about the psychiatric ward. And um, the last time I was there was when Jedward came into our lives. And they were everywhere. They were on TV, they were on magazines, and I was mental. I thought that Jedward was a symptom of my psychosis. I thought I made that shit up. There's no tablets to make Jedward go away, is there? Mm. Right. So this is the poem, What We All Know. In here, everything's broken. The activity cupboard's broken. The kettle's broken. This felt tip is fucked. And I don't know what these are for anyway. Just keep it in your head against the wall, we know that works. Come on in, it's great. It's like a holiday from life and the view from the day room of men pacing and holding it in till they don't. And women in crazy women coats with no hope and sick from trying and we smoke a lot. And every day at nine and twelve and five for meals we have food and we smoke a lot, come on in. It's great, you're just in time. Beryl's kicking off and screaming all that stuff we all already know from the last time she kicked off. With more arms and legs and tears and the nurse's face and blood and later she'll come sedated into the day room. Tail tucked and shamed that we all know what we all know. What we all know, anyone? Come on in. It's great. It's like an Ina Blight and boarding school, and instead of matron, we've got Elaine, the nurse, is overworked and going grey too early from empathy and no time to care. And Lucy, the young nurse, no, it's just dawn. This system doesn't really work. And once a week we have ward rounds, and it's all straighteners and bobbles, and <laughs> Beth thinks she might have a chance to go home. Now has died to see her kids. And we wait. And wait. And wait. Until the Lord, our Saviour, the psychiatrist, is ready to look at us in his peripheral vision. With this surprise and lack of interpersonal skills, considering he's chosen to work with people and psyches. You see, some psychiatrists need to learn one sentence. When someone tells you something horrific that's happened to them, which they will, because you ask them again and again, just say this. I'm really sorry that happened to you. 